which I'm not in the maple syrup business, but. Everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tyler Tries Hot Sauce. If you're new to the channel, what we do is review hot sauces based on heat, flavor, and value. And today we have two special sauces from Benito's in northern Vermont. Uh, one is a uh, ghost chili blend and the other is a ghost pepper maple syrup. Uh, so what I do is I try the sauce, do a little spoonful, see how it is, and then I tell you about it. I read the label, I, I read the ingredients. So here we go. It's a thick one. This is like a thick, dark red sauce. Ah! Got to get a decent, helpful, helping, helpful right here. Heaping, spoonful. All right, so here we go with this one. So it's kind of like a really thick ketchup as far as consistency. Not a lot of thick chunks of seed or anything, but kind of like a grittiness to it. Um, very thick sauce. Uh, vinegar is the primary taste up front, and ketchup or tomato, and uh, and then some pepper. The heat kind of creeps up on the back end, which is um, kind of signature to the ghost pepper. Uh, so the ingredients are ghost peppers, onions, bell peppers garlic, carrots, and lime juice and vinegar. So interesting, the vinegar is the last ingredient, um, but it's a very prominent taste, so I'm not sure if it's the citrus or what, but it's got like acidity, like a sourness to it. Um, but it's good, kind of a flat flavor. Um, at this point, the heat's like still kind of picking up. It says very hot, I don't think it's too bad compared to what, what else I've had. So anyway, it says, it all began back in 2007 with a backyard chili garden with some truly amazing friends and a strong passion for saucin. We now source over 4,000 pounds of locally grown organic chili peppers, organic fresh veggies, and other farm set ingredients from six Vermont farms in order to make the freshest tasting hot sauce on earth. Each bottle is made by hand the old fashioned way in a tiny commercial kitchen in Northern Vermont. We do not use any gums which are typically used to thicken them, which this one does not need it. It's probably like the fiber from, like if it, if it went through a juicer, all the fiber from the carrots and such. Um, try our products on anything and everything food related. Thanks so much. Their website's BenitoHotSauce.com and they're out, out of Montpellier, Vermont, or Montpellier if you're American. Uh, made in a small Vermont kitchen where tree nuts are present. At this point, the heat's kind of coming off. I'm sweating just a little bit. Uh, this is the review portion. Again, we do it on heat, flavor, and value. I would give this one a heat of uh, pretty middle of the road. I'd say five. On flavor, um, this would go really well on a sandwich because it is kind of like a tomato-based, ketchup-y type sauce. Um, but it's kind of just flat in that there's not a ton of complexity to it. Uh, very acidic. So on flavor, I'd, I'd have to give it four out of 10. Um, but it is good, I do like it, do recommend it. And then value, it's a, it's $6.40 for the bottle. Again, it's Benito's hot sauce and uh, it is worth checking out. So if you see it or if you're into a more tomato-based sauce or you like ghost peppers a lot, check it out. And it's, uh, again, BenitosHotSauce.com. Okay, um, we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna come back with Benito's ghost pepper maple syrup because uh, I gotta let my taste buds refresh. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Uh, you have to bear with me because they just started shooting off some fireworks. So if you hear that in the background, that's what's going on. We're we're back with part number two of Benito's ghost pepper review, uh, and now we're trying ghost pepper maple syrup. So. Just like usual, try it and talk about it. Get a nice spoonful. Of, ooh, shit. Never had a uh, hot maple syrup before. Well, now there's maple syrup on the, on the bed. And I apologize, but here we go. 
It's pretty runny. Um, it looks just like an A-grade maple syrup, which it is for my A-grade. Bear with me. Um, you can hear me, you can't see me, but... Um, oh, it's got heat right up front, surprisingly. It is good though, it is a nice, uh, a nice tasty maple syrup. There's the fireworks, which I'm not in the maple syrup business, but... There's the finale. <laughs> you can definitely hear all that too. <laughs> Eric probably went over there, it's talking to them. All right, that's better. Okay, uh, so I just tried the Bonitos Ghost Pepper Infused Maple Syrup. I got some heat up front. It is a, it looks like an A-grade darker maple syrup, um, but it is a little runnier than, you know, it's not like a thick syrupy, uh, it's not as viscous, or it is more viscous. Yeah, so, uh, so here we go. It's five fluid ounces. Here's what they have to say about it. The, this pure organic maple syrup, uh, in this product was harvested by Jen and Nick Merritt in, of Stony Hill Maple in Fletcher, Vermont. It's been combined with organic ghost peppers from Maple Wind Farm in Huntington, Vermont. This strong maple flavor gives way to an intense wave of heat. It's damn hot. Try it on chicken and waffles, pulled pork, bacon, wings, or pancakes. Enjoy. Again, it's Benito's Hot Sauce in Montpellier, Vermont. It is... Oh, they don't have the website in this one but it's bonitoshotsauce.com. And uh, the ingredients are organic Vermont grown ghost peppers. Number one ingredient. Hmm. I have to argue that, but anyway. Uh, Maple Wind Farm, Huntington, Vermont. And organic Vermont maple syrup out of Fletcher, Vermont. So it's, it's maple syrup and ghost peppers. Uh, and they probably I don't know, extract the, the oil or just somehow extract the capsaicin out of the ghost peppers. Um, I don't find it terribly hot, uh, but it is great. I love that sweet and heat, sweet heat combo. Um, and they mentioned uh, chicken and waffles. That'd be awesome. Uh, a new thing lately is just putting like sweeter hot sauces on ice cream. I'd love to try that as well. Um, pancakes. If you're like me, you have hot sauce on everything, so you can put this with sweet, savory, doesn't matter, pulled pork. Uh, actually, that would be good as like a marinade too because you get some of the heat plus the sweet from, uh, from maple syrup. So as far as flavor goes, this is unlike most hot sauces, the maple syrup. I mean, it's got a great flavor. It's, it's, it's just really good maple syrup and it has heat to it. So if you... If you like maple syrup, you're gonna like, and you like hot things, you're gonna love this. Um, so it's kind of hard to rank on heat or a flavor. So I think I'll actually just not give it a ranking, but it's definitely um, a really good sauce, and I highly recommend the flavor. Um, as far as heat, I would actually give it a four. It's not, it, even though it's a ghost pepper, which was the previous world record holder, holder for the hottest uh, pepper, it's not terribly hot but that's okay um, because you're mostly getting that maple flavor, uh, which I really like. And then value, this is an $8 bottle for five ounces, pretty typical, um, pretty typical for a hot sauce, but maple syrup itself is very expensive. So to get five ounces of hot maple syrup, I think that's definitely worth the money, definitely worth checking out. I don't know who else makes hot maple syrup, but uh, if you are looking for some, Check out Bonitos. Their website's BonitosHotSauce.com. Uh, again, thank you for watching the special two-part hot sauce review of Bonitos Hot Sauce in uh, Montpellier, Vermont. And uh, if you got, if you have a review or if you have a suggestion for a hot sauce you'd like me to review, drop it in the comments below. I'm running out. 
Uh, today we're up, actually up in up, upstate New York doing a special uh, special edition review. So uh, I'll be back back in Georgia doing my regular reviews pretty soon here. And uh, and so if you have something you'd like me to try, I'll go down to Inferno, I'll pick a bottle up, and you'll see it on the channel soon.